Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video we take you through the life of Florence Ballard, the Supreme Band founder. Florence Glenda Chapman was an American singer and a founding member of the Motown vocal female group The Supremes. Florence was born on June 30, 1943 into a large family that was always beset with financial challenges. Ballard is the one who chose the name The Supremes. She sang on 16 top 40 singles with the group, including 10 number one hits. Ballard sang lead vocals on the hit Buttered Popcorn when she was just 17 years old. Her voice was so powerful on the track that studio engineers requested that she stand 17 feet away from the microphone while she sang. During this period, Ballard also stood in for Wanda Young of the Marvelettes, who was out on maternity leave. Gladys Horton, lead singer of the Marvelettes, sought Ballard's advice before she famously recorded Please Mr. Postman. In the summer of 1960, a 17-year-old Ballard endured a tragic incident that would permanently shape her personality and shift her previously happy outlook on life to a mistrust and fear of strangers. After leaving a sock hop at Detroit's Greystone Ballroom one warm summer night, Ballard was separated from her brother Billy. She accepted a ride home from a young man whom she thought she recognized, a local high school basketball player. Instead of being driven home, Ballard was taken north of Detroit to an empty parking lot where the man raped her at knife point. For several weeks, Ballard secluded herself from public for several weeks. She even hid from her bewildered bandmates who were not aware of what had happened. She later disclosed to them about the incident. The girls were sympathetic but remained confused about Ballard's new behavior. Wilson later attributed Ballard's personality as an adult and subsequent self-destructive behavior to the assault Ballard experienced when she was a teen. Her increasing dependence on alcohol led to tensions, especially with Ross. She sang on 16 different top 40 hits, but left the group in 1967 after a dispute with Motown Records. Ballard, who had been dissatisfied with her diminishing role for a long time, was finally fired from the Supremes. Ballard was replaced by Cindy Birdsong. Ballard signed a solo deal with ABC in 1968, the year that she married. Two singles emerged via the pact, It Doesn't Matter How I Say It, It's What I Say That Matters, and Love Ain't Love. She was married to Thomas Chapman and were blessed with three children, Lisa, Nicole and Michelle. She went on with solo production that had little reward. Ballard's financial situation worsened and she began to fear for her own health and her inability to provide for her family. She mounted something of a comeback in 1975. Florence died at the age of just 32 in her hometown of Detroit on February 22, 1976. Her sudden passing, from a coronary thrombosis, caused an outpouring of grief among those around her, if far too little reaction from the wider world. Nonetheless, Florence Ballard's legacy is renewed every hour of every day as the Supreme's golden hits continue to play around the world. Quick lessons from her life. 1. Never trust and accompany strangers or accept gifts from them. 2. As young girls, keep away from men and boys in lonely areas. 3. Never walk alone. 4. Drug addiction has never been the best solitude to our problems. 5. Counseling is critical to help us from uncomfortable life situations and depression. 6. Bad behavior can separate us from our friends. 7. Financial management is a key factor in managing our resources. Until next time, give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to our channel for more.